one thing I wanted to point out with lists is that you can actually nest lists inside other lists. And this might be useful if you're trying to, say, figure out how to make a navigation bar on your page with a drop down, for example. Um, for example, if you wanted to make something that looks like this up here and you wanted to be able to click and see some kind of drop down list items. Uh, so the structure of what that might look like in your HTML is you might have a list and then you might have a sublist inside of that list. And it, it pays to know how to nest lists inside other lists because as we've seen before, right, you can nest elements inside other elements. And what that looks like is let's say we wanted to give some more specific directions in our recipe example in terms of beating the eggs. So how to beat the eggs. And we want to do that as a sublist. So I want it to kind of pop down over here and kind of show a couple extra directions before we get into stir in eggs here. So all we need to do is we just need to nest a UL or an OL inside this OL. Um, so essentially we're just declaring a new element. Let's do it as a UL. Notice what happened right off the bat. So because I haven't closed off this UL, it's just treating this LI and this one as part of this UL, right? And that's why they got all weird, um, which again, just demonstrates the importance of always closing off your tags right away. And right, so now we have a UL and all I need to do is add list items. So let's do a couple LIs here. We can say whip eggs with whip thingy. I don't really know off the top of my head what that thing is called. It's not a spatula. I know that, but you want to whip eggs with a whip thingy as the first direction. And then you want to get lots of air into the eggs. LI. And then, I don't know, let eggs settle. As you can tell, I'm not much of a baker myself. But anyway, you can see that we have this, uh, this sub list now. And it kind of auto formats it in terms of, you know, what kind of bullet points it uses because the browser picked up, oh, this is a list that's inside another list. So I'm going to indent this appropriately, right? Contrast to this bullet point down here, it does look a little bit different. And it just goes to show if you know how to nest elements inside other elements, you can make some pretty cool stuff, right? This could just as easily have been an ordered list. If we do OL here, okay, it just kind of restarts a new list. That's why it starts at one. And if you want to get crazy, you could even do list inside of a list. As you will, like so. Too many lists. SLI. Right, so this works um, if you have kind of a complex navigation, for example, you want drop downs on top of drop downs. Uh, but, you know, just starting, you don't want to get too complex with your lists um, because even just looking at the code now, Right, it's kind of hard to understand what's going on because we have an opening UL, then we have another opening UL closing. It's kind of hard to kind of backtrace, especially if your indentation is slightly off. Right, if this was indented over there and this was over there and this was over here, you know, it's it's kind of really hard to understand exactly what's going on. So, it is possible, but you don't want to go overboard with uh, with your nesting. Right, and as usual, you can always add in a comment if you want to say some kind of add some kind of indicator for example so you could say inner list right this would be a note to yourself to be like oh this that's what this is for okay and then you could maybe add another comment here end of inner list All right so highly encourage you to use comments it, it really kind of helps parse out your code if it does have a lot of kind of complexity to it as well Thank you.